Jerry Desjardins, Don Edwards, Rocky Parr, Danny Dare, John Poole, Jocelyn Gamelon, Phil Heights, Al Hamilton, Hugh Harris, Billy English, Jerry Corab, Jim Lorenz, Don Luce, Terry Martin, Gary McAdam, Paul McIntosh, Jerry Meehan, Mike Robitaille, Doug Rombo, Derek Smith, Fred Stanfield, Morris Titanic, Jim Watson, Randy Wyroso, Gilbert Paro, Rene Roman, and Coach Joe Crozier. to beat the Soviet Central Red Army team. Now to join the first decade of the Buffalo Sabres, please welcome from the 1980s, Adam Creighton, Richie Dunn, Steve Dykstra, Mike Hartman, Jim Hofford, Ed Hospodar, Bill Housley, Kevin McGuire, Tony McKechnie, Scott Metcalf, Phil Meir, Will Tamar, Larry Playfair, Darren Kupa, Jordy Robertson, Steve Smith, and Jim Weimer. The 1990s proved to be a decade of success, appearing in two conference finals and missing the playoffs only twice. The Buffalo Sabres were known as the hardest working team in hockey, and that hard work paid off. In 1999, the Sabres came within one game of winning Lord Stanley's Cup. Please welcome the Sabres of the 90s, Donald Audet, Randy Burris, Lou Franceschetti, Michael Groshek, Brian Holzinger, Yuri Himalev, Pat LaFontaine, Grant Ledger, Brad May, Craig Muni, Rob Ray, Michael Becca, Wayne Primo, Daryl Shannon, Richard Smellick, Bob Sweeney, Scott Thomas, Rick Vaughn, Brett Florida, Jay Wells, Mike Wilson, Jason Woolley, and Coach John Muckler. The last 10 years of professional hockey in Buffalo have been filled with excitement. Along with four trips to the playoffs and two to the Eastern Conference Finals, the Sabres were able to collect the team's first President's Trophy in 2007. Representing this decade, please welcome Jay McKee, Teppo Newmanen, and Andrew Peters. Ladies and gentlemen, these players help build the bubble.